Good morning, this is Miss Pam bringing you another Bible story for the week. Remember last week we talked about the religious men who walked by the man who was hurt, not even stopping to help, but somebody from a different race stopped and helped to care for the man. And Jesus said, this is truly proof that he was looking out after his neighbor. Now today we're going to talk about another parable Jesus told about a father and a son. And this too is from the book of Luke. There was once a man that had two sons. And the younger son said, I want all my money that I'm going to get when you die. And I'm going to take it and do whatever I want with it bad attitude. But that's what the father agreed to. And the son went off and while he had money, he lived wild. He did bad things that did not please his earthly father or his heavenly father. Hmm. But then something happened. He ran out of money. And when he ran out of money, his friends left him. He had Nothing. No money to buy food. Hmm. He had to get a job and work. But do you know the only job he could find was a terrible job. It was stinky and dirty. He had to feed the pigs. Do you know what was worth worse than that? He had to eat the slop that the pigs had to eat. He was really down. He had hit the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. He was discouraged. He had no money. He could barely stay alive, and what he did have to eat was awful. So he began to think, My dad has servants who are treated better than I'm being treated. If I humbly apologize and come back to my dad and say, Father, I have sinned against you. Could you take me back into your home and just let me even be a servant? Just pay me what you pay your servants. That would be better than where I am here. And so humbly, he started back home. Now let's go back to the father. He's been waiting all this time waiting and waiting for this lost son to come home. And finally, one day the father looks out in the field and he says, oh, I recognize that, that person walking. That's my son. And when the son finally reaches his father, they hug and the father says, I've been so waiting for you to come back. And the son kneels before him and says, Father, I have sinned against you. I have not pleased you. Please forgive me and let me come and just be a servant of yours. And the dad said, No, you're my son. And he gave him a ring and a new set of clothes and he threw a big party to rejoice with the neighbors. Now, do you remember at the beginning of the story, I said there had been two sons. The older son never left the father's side. He kept the money in, in the place that it should be. He helped his father. He stayed on the family farm and worked. Never left. Well, he got a little miffed when the younger brother, who had blown all the money, came back, and the father greeted him, welcome, welcomed him. And the dad looked at the older brother, and he said, Don't be angry. Everything I have is yours. You've been with me. You've been faithful the whole time. But this son, I thought, was lost, and he's come home. That's cause for rejoicing. And you might say, Miss Pam, that's a great story, but what was Jesus trying to teach with this story? He was trying to say that we are the sinners like the son who left home. We didn't always live to please God the Father. But then when we realize by the power of the Holy Spirit 
that we need to come back to the Father and really be His and repent for our sins, then God the Father welcomes us back into His arms and we are indeed the children of God. Now, what about the older brother? Well, there were people there that thought, we're God's children, we're Israelites, we've always done what was right by Moses' law. Well, they hadn't. But what Jesus was trying to tell them is, you know, you think you're like the older brother, but you haven't humbled yourself before the Father and said, Lord, forgive me. I want to be your servant. And so he was trying to teach the difference between a humble attitude of bowing and apologizing for our sin to God and between thinking that we're okay on our own. Now, in your bag that Miss Pam had given you, you have a little squeezable pig. And I want you to get that pig out when we're done with this video. And I want you to keep that pig with you. And maybe if it's a family one, you can set it on your table where everybody can see it. And when you see that pig, I want you to realize that God the Father loves you and wants to welcome you whenever you tell him you've been a sinner and you would like to be his servant. If you've already done that, then let the pig remind you that God the Father is a loving Father and he always wants to hear from us. So, use that pig as a reminder of God the Father. Now, I have one more thing to show you. Remember I gave you some books at the beginning um, this has been a few weeks ago. There was a large book and a smaller book. Your extra fun sheet for today's parable is in the smaller book, and it's called The Lost Son. So you find that, and you can do the two pages that have to do with our prodigal son parable for today, found in Luke. Thank you so much for watching. I always love telling Bible stories, and I pray that you're growing thereby. I can't wait to see you in person. It's coming soon. Love to all of you. Bye-bye.